All right, game of the year. This is my top five list. And I just uh, want to kind of preface it by saying, sometimes in years past, number one is way better than number two. In this case, you could probably rearrange all five of these without uh, much sense of that there's anything that distinct going on, because they're all games I really had a strong reaction to. But let's start at number five, The Walking Dead. This game or franchise completely undermines what you're supposed to do with a game. It has very, very little sense of gaminess. The interactivity is mainly in conversation trees, but because of the incredible strength of the narrative and the characterization, this is by far one of the most affecting games I've played in a long time and is emotionally devastating once you get to the end. Number four, Mass Effect 3. This is how you end a trilogy. Yeah, I said it. I think one of the biggest misassumptions about the game is people are focusing on the last 15 minutes and not that the entirety of the game, its entire 25 hours, is a conclusion that is the culmination of all the decisions and actions you made in your virtual life. And it all comes up against the inexorable pull of death and finality that hangs over this almost operatic experience. Journey. This game is just beautiful. It pretty much sublimates what a game is into pure, unadulterated experience. The way it approaches multiplayer, the way in which it just draws you in and never has to hold your hand as you just have an experience. It is beautiful and unlike anything else out there. Number two is XCOM. This game is exquisite in its design and its balance. Everything you do in this game has some ramification and it only rewards the most patient of players. Also, for a turn-based strategy game, it is the single most harrowing experience of the year. Yeah, who would have thunk it? And guess what? I even prefer to play it with a controller. Number one, Dishonored. This game hits a certain sweet spot as someone who always loved the original Deus Ex and the original Thief, but it takes that game philosophy and puts in some of the best level design I've seen in years. It is continually rewarding to go back and replay the levels, but when you take a look at this world, this city of Dunwall and the strange mystery that is never fully explained, this is the game that has stayed in my head ever since I started playing it. Three, two, one. So there you have it, those are my top five. Now, of course, there are some other games I also like this year, Sleeping Dogs, Halo 4, Unfinished Swan, but when you gotta narrow it down to five, well, you gotta cut it off somewhere. Anyway, I know we're gonna talk about how this may not have been the best year for games, but in terms of the good ones, couldn't ask for much more. To reiterate, these are my personal top fives. Other people have top fives as well. Yes, you can see the personal top fives of Max, Tara, and Anthony. And stay tuned because we're going to be getting together into a room with knives and figure out what the Rev 3 Game of the Year will be.